Hi, Grade 8s. As part of our cells unit, we're going to go over the parts of a compound light microscope. Before starting, we need to go over some important science vocabulary that I'll be using in this video, just so you'll understand what I'm talking about. First, let's look at the term to magnify. When we say that a microscope magnifies an object or specimen, we just mean that the microscope makes it look larger than it actually is. The word specimen is just a fancy schmancy name to call the object or substance that we're looking at with the microscope. Today, we're going to focus on the compound light microscope because that's the type of microscope that we have in the science lab at school. This type of microscope gets its name because to produce a magnified image of a specimen, it has to direct light up through the specimen. So that's where we get the term light microscope. After passing through the specimen, the light then passes through two or more lenses. That's where we get the word compound. It basically just means more than one lens. In the case of our microscopes, the light passes through a total of two lenses at a time one of the three objective lenses, and there they are in the diagram right there, as well as the ocular lens at the top. In order to properly use the microscopes in our lab at school, you need to know the names and functions of the different parts. Let's start out with the eyepiece, also known as the ocular lens. This is the part of the microscope that you look through. By itself, it also makes the specimen look bigger, having a magnification of 10 times. In other words, just looking at the specimen through the ocular lens alone would make it look 10 times bigger than it actually is in real life. Next, we have the tube. The tube holds the eyepiece at the correct distance from the objective lenses so that the microscope can be focused to produce a clear image of the specimen. This part of the microscope is known as the arm. You use the arm to carry the microscope and we'll learn more about that in the next video. The arm also connects the section of the microscope containing the objective lenses and the tube to the lower part of the microscope. This part right here is called the revolving nose piece. It's a rotating disc that holds the objective lenses. You turn it to change from one objective lens to another. Since I just mentioned them, we may as well talk about the objective lenses, which are found under the revolving nose piece right here. These are lenses which magnify the specimen. The microscopes in our science lab have three objective lenses. The lowest power objective lens, which is also the shortest one, magnifies by four times. The medium power objective lens, which is a bit longer, magnifies by 10 times, and the highest power objective lens, which is also the longest, magnifies the specimen by 40 times. Now, if you forget this, or you're using a different type of compound light microscope, you can always find out the magnification of an objective lens by looking right on the side of the lens. The magnification will be engraved or carved right into it. The stage, which is the part of the microscope right here, is a flat surface which supports the specimen that you're looking at. On top of the stage, you have two stage clips, one on each side of the stage. You can see them here. These are used to hold the slide with your specimen in place while you're viewing it. There is also a hole in the center of the stage right here. This allows light from the light source to travel up through the stage to light up or illuminate the specimen. When focusing the microscope to view a specimen, you can use two adjustment knobs. This one right here is called the coarse adjustment knob. 
You use this knob to focus your microscope when it's on the lowest power objective lens. Remember, that's the shortest or smallest objective lens. Now, the course adjustment knob moves the stage up and down quite a bit, so you only use this knob when the microscope is on the lowest power objective lens. Otherwise, you could damage an objective lens and make your teacher cry. Don't make your teacher cry. When using either the medium or high power objective lens, you can use the fine adjustment knob. That's the small one right here. And this lets you make sure the focus is nice and sharp. Now, there are a couple of important parts of the microscope that you'll find under the stage. First off is the diaphragm. This part of the microscope controls how much light travels through the stage from the light source to the specimen, so that you can either increase or decrease the amount of light shining on the specimen. Usually this is controlled by a wheel or lever under the stage. Also underneath the stage, you have the condenser lens. This lens focuses the light coming from the light source so that it illuminates or lights up the specimen. Last but not least, we have the base, and its purpose is pretty straightforward. It supports the rest of the microscope, which sits on top of it. Okay, there you have it. You now know the parts of a compound light microscope and we can start learning how to use them in class. Yay!